All right, so this is a quick tutorial on how you can get uh, Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy to run on your PC at 1080p resolution with uh, correct scaling. Um, so first what you need to do is just to find your game folder. Um, to do that on Steam, you just right click on your game once you've got it installed, go to properties, local files, uh, and then just click on the browse button and that'll just open up the folder where you've got the, uh, the game installed. Um, so if you've got this installed on GOG or another method, you can um, find out wherever you've installed it by. You probably installed it on your C drive, so you just go to Program Files and then find the game there. Um, so uh, for me, we just need to go to Game Data and Base. So this will be the same for everyone. Um, so what you need to do here is that the main file that we need to change is uh, GA, uh, gaconfig.cfg. So to edit this, we just right click on the um, the file and then we just need to edit with Notepad++. You can use the usual Notepad, but it's a lot easier using this, so I'd recommend using this. Uh, and I'll put a link in the description if you haven't used this method before or used this application. So um, what we need to do is we need to change uh, four files here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to press Control F to get um, to get the, the finder here so we can just find what we're looking for. So the first file that we need to change is one called uh, CETA space R underscore customization whip. And there's another one for height. So they'll be right next to each other when you look at it in here. So what you need to do is just search for width uh, and then just click find next. We'll press the enter key. Uh, and then we can see that it's found it here. So all you need to do here is just change the width and the height to whatever you're using. Um, so for me, I've just put in 1920 by 1080. In both of these sections here so all you need to do is just put that in between the brackets uh, and then you're good to go so those are the two files that, that you need to change there um, you know if, if you're just using notepad you would just you know search for height instead uh, and it'll again it will just highlight whatever you've got selected here but it's just a lot easier using notepad plus plus so um the third file that you need to do is one called sata space r underscore mode um, so what we're going to do is just search for, um, we're just going to search for that here. Uh, you can manually do this, but it's just easier to search it so you can save the time. Okay, so for us it's just two two lines underneath this section. It might be a bit different for, for whatever your configuration is. So say to our mode, so what you need to do is set this to minus one. It will be a different configuration depending on uh, how you had it set up before. So just set it to minus one. OK, so the last line that you need to add here, for me, it's already added. Um, so I'll show you where it is in, in my file. And that's to change the, the field of view. So OK, so my file is already here. So I just had say to the space CG, CG underscore field of view space uh, and then just put in um, the field of view so for 16 by 9 you want uh, 95 so what, what you'd have to do if you haven't already got this file is just um, add another space in between to create another line uh, and then what you need to do is just manually type this in so uh, just put say to cg underscore fov and then just add a space um, and put in 95 if you close in brackets um, and then all you need to do at that point uh, I'm just going to delete that because I've obviously already got it here but we need to do is just go to file save and that will overwrite the file that we already had here so once you've done that that will be the main uh, fix that we need to get the game running properly um, well also what if, if you're finding issues with the scaling if it's uh, not presenting itself properly, only presenting part of the screen. Um, what you need to do is go to the uh, the EXE, which is JASP for the single player. Just right click it, go to properties, um, compatibility. So in my case, I ticked um, run as, as administrator, change high DPI. Um, so you want to tick this option here. It says high DPI scaling override uh, and change this to application and then just click OK and apply. So that, that's what I had to do because my monitor's native resolution is 4K and I had issues running it in 4K, so I just changed it to 1080p and it, it was fine. So um, that's the configuration I've got to play the game. 
Um, so I'll just give you a quick demo of, of how this actually looks. Okay, so you can see here that the scaling is correct, it's showing us everything that we need on the screen. Um, and yeah, that's the end of the tutorial really, so um, I'll just leave the links in the description and uh, elements of the code that you need to change. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.